Hey everyone, I'm Jess from Evo. Today I'm going to talk about snow wear bindings and how to find a pair that works best for you. Bindings are your direct connection to the board, so it's important that they're compatible and match your riding style. The flex of a binding determines the terrain and style of riding that it's best suited for. They're usually rated on a scale of 1 to 10 or 1 to 5, with lower numbers indicating softer flexes. Binding flex mostly depends on personal preference, but beginners and more freestyle-oriented snowboarders tend to prefer softer, more forgiving bindings. Advanced and free ride oriented riders often prefer stiffer bindings that are responsive at speed. Most people will fall somewhere in the middle for all mountain performance. You'll also want to consider the different types of bindings. Strap bindings are standard with two ratchet straps that secure your ankle and toes. Strap bindings are easy to use and adjust, but take a little longer to get into than rear entry or step on bindings. Rear entry bindings have reinforced high backs that fold down so you can slide your foot in from behind. Once your foot is in, snap the high back into position and you're good to go. Step on bindings are the quickest bindings to use. They require compatible boots that slide into the binding and click the heel in place. Only a few companies like Burton and K2 make these bindings, so your options are more limited. Unless you have a step on setup, most bindings are compatible with most boots. That said, you'll need the correct binding size for your boots. So check out the manufacturer's size chart before purchasing your bindings. Your boots should fit in the binding without too much overhang, and the strap should have room for adjustments. Your heel should fit snugly and allow the boot to flex without too much movement. You'll find a few different types of mounting systems for your snowboard binding. The most common is 2x4 or 2 cm by 4 cm. 4x4 is the same as 2x4, but with 4 cm gaps instead of 2. 4x4 gives you fewer stance options due to a wider hole pattern. Finally, there's Burton's channel system. This consists of two slots running parallel to the edges, which are used to attach your bindings to your snowboard. This system lets you customize your setback and your stance and flex as well because the bindings don't have a disc or a dead zone. Burton's EST snowboard bindings are designed to work exclusively with the channel, while their reflex bindings will work with both the channel and 2x4 and 4x4 patterns. Many companies make bindings that are compatible with the channel. Look for bindings that say channel compatible or include a universal mount disc. It's worth noting that while bindings with universal discs are compatible with any mount pattern, those with mini discs are only compatible with 2x4 and channel snowboards. The 4x4 pattern is too wide to accommodate the smaller discs. Make sure you check the compatibility of your setup. All right, that's all I got. Check out our complete guide for more information, and if you still need help, our experts love talking about gear. Visit us online, in-store, or give us a call. We're happy to help. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and drop any questions down in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the slopes.